Government business was taken up on the last day of the budget session 2023. Here is a rundown of the business of the day. The day began with question R. Nongkrem legislator Ardent Bersayamad raised a question in regards to the operation of Maumulu Chara Cements Limited. In his reply, Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Commerce and Industries, Sunyo Bhalangdhar, said that the government hasn't fixed any timeline for resuming the operation of MCCL. He said that the government is exploring all options for a joint venture partnership to run MCCL. To a question raised by Mokoyao Emily Nujorki Sunga, if the subdivision number one of PWD Shangpung Division located in Jawai will be shifted to an area under its jurisdiction, Deputy Chief Minister in Charge PWD Roots Prastun Tansong said that the matter is under examination. To a question raised by not Shulong legislator Adalbert Nongrum, Health and Family Welfare Minister Amprin Lingdo said that the state government is adopting the CGHS rate in the MMA Rules 2021 where all detailed procedure, lab investigation and rates are available. To a supplementary question, the minister said that the disparity between the bill submitted is because the old version of the MMA did not include many other areas of treatment, whereas the CGHS has a more exhaustive list as compared to the MMA rules of 1981. The minister informed that since the CGHS rate is lower than the rates of the hospital, most empaneled hospitals except Negrims have not agreed to the rates and therefore the department has written to these hospitals, but they are yet to receive a positive response. Minister in charge, CNRD, A.T. Mondal, in his reply to a question placed by Rambrai Jirngam legislator Remington Gebel Momin, said that the staff appointed under different schemes of the parent block of Nongstein and Motion Road a given dual charge while recruitment of permanent staff to the newly created blocks Rambrai and Rimu Liang are under process. He said that the blocks are currently operating from rented buildings and basic skeletal infrastructure is in place. Nongpo MLA, Meryl Bonds aim placed a question as to whether the government plans to upgrade existing damage to Anganwadi centres in the state. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma responded to the question and replied in the affirmative. He informed that the total number of villages within the Nongpo Legislative Assembly constituency without Anganwadi centres is 44. He said that of the 44, a proposal for 25 Anganwadi centres fulfilling the population norms has been submitted to the Government of India, Ministry of Women and Child Development for sanction. Education Minister Rakam Sangma, in response to a question raised by Mahati MLA Charles Marngar, informed that the status of vacant posts of SSA teachers is 420, 102 in lower primary schools, 292 in upper primary schools and 26 in secondary. He informed that the status of vacancies in government teachers is 1,219. Malayam MLA Ronnie Wheeling then called the attention of Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Home Police Prastun Tansong to a news item published in in Kanjat Shai, but then Kadheng Kali Upper Shilong Nadu Porman Meet Hadukman Stem. He raised concerns over traffic problem in Upper Shilong and urged the Deputy Chief Minister, who is also Minister in Charge PWD Roads, to expedite the four leaning of the road and suggested creating sub lanes and by lanes. In his reply, the Deputy Chief Minister said that the government has directed the traffic police to help ease traffic congestion and for the smooth flow of traffic in Upper Shlong area. He also said that the department is exploring the feasibility of having a sub-lane connecting Upper Shlong to Lao Sotun. This was followed by voting on demands for grants. Cut motions were moved to discuss style and functioning of police department and education department. Two bills were also passed on the last day. The Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Repeal Bill 2023 and the Captain Williamson Sangma Technical University Amendment Bill 2023. Assembly Speaker Thomas A. Sangma also announced the names of members declared elected to the Assembly Committee on Public Accounts, Assembly Committee on Public Undertakings, and Assembly Committee on Estimates. For more on the business of the day, videos can be found on our YouTube channel.